Hey guys, what's up? So we have a new update on Advanced Server and it's patch 1.5.68. First on our list is Claude. The developers think his performance has exceeded the other marksmen, so they'll adjust his skill. They lower the movement speed and attack speed he gets from his first skill. It might look small, but remember the skill can stack up to 10 times. So at max level with full stacks, that's minus 10% movement and attack speed. Is this the end of Core Claude? Next is Bane. They changed the way his passive skill works. Instead of a timer, he now gets passive stacks after casting a skill. He can store up to 2 stacks and each basic attack will consume 1 stack. And when his first skill bounces to an enemy, he will gain 1 stack. Unfortunately, I can't show you because his revamp version is not yet available. And his ultimate will no longer reduce the target's attack speed. This update is a move to make his physical build viable. It's because I've seen almost all Bane users using magic build. No one wants to use physical build anymore. Next is the secret buff on Argus. This is not included in the patch but his passive skill damage is now higher. From 270 in official server to now 320% in advanced server. Hopefully this gets applied on official server. Next is Eve. The developers think she is a bit helpless so they'll improve her survivability. To balance the changes, they lowered her damage. They removed the slow effect of her ultimate when the enemies touch the edge of the area. They replaced it with Immobilize that lasts for 0.8 seconds. And she now gets chilled when using her ultimate. It can last for 3 more seconds after her ultimate ends. The shield is affected by the number of passive stacks that she has. This gives her protection while casting her ultimate. In exchange for those buffs, they lower the damage of her first, second, and ultimate. So lower damage but higher survivability for Eve. Next is Cyclops. They lower the late game damage of his second skill by 60 points at max level. But if you remember from last week's update, they also lowered its cooldown. So faster cooldown but lower damage in the late game. Next is Fanny. They had to tone down the buff they gave last week on her first skill. If we compare the current Fanny to this one, it's still a buff. That's plus 20 damage on her first skill at all levels. Next is Link. They cancelled the buff they gave last week on his ultimate cooldown. It's now back like before. He will still receive a buff because last week, they increased his energy region when above a wall. Next is the revamp Karina. They added base damage to her passive skill that scales with level. In exchange, they lowered her first skill damage. They also swapped the damage of the first and second phase of her ultimate. The first phase now deals higher damage. And they removed the extra damage of her second phase. The skill's cooldown is also shortened by 6 seconds. These are good adjustments, especially the base damage on her passive skill. Next is Fovius. Lots of adjustment for this new hero. They removed the cooldown reduction from his passive and replaced it with reduced charge time for his first. His ultimate now has a longer cooldown and bigger range. They also optimized the skill indicators. Next is Glue. The developers think he is still inferior to other tanks so they'll make more adjustments. They increased the damage reduction on his passive skill. His first and second skill combo is smoother now. And he can now do basic attacks when attached to a target. Each basic attack will cause an explosion that can deal AOE damage like this. Next are the battlefield adjustments. They lower the damage of minions against the base by 50%. 
push type heroes will definitely hate this update. Shortened respawn time during the first 20 minutes of the game. After that, expect longer waiting time if you die. This means it's harder to make epic comebacks after 20 minutes. Little Wanderer now gets full CC immunity. Wow! Sana all. You'll now get bonus gold when shutting down an enemy with a 2 plus kill streak. Previously, you only get bonus gold when killing an enemy with a 4 plus kill streak. To balance this effect, they lower the reward from 60 to now 40 gold. They also increase its reward cap from 300 to 400. Another gold adjustment is for those feeders. You get less gold when killing an enemy feeder from 30 to now 20 gold. The gold reward when getting an assist is also lowered from 70 to now 60%. They also lower the gold you get from killing the lord. Previously, it was 300 per lord kill. Now it's based on game time. If we do the math, the only time you'll get higher than 300 gold is when the game has reached 19 minutes. And that's all for this update. So which part did you like the most? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.